good morning. It is 7.30. This is not focusing on my face. Please focus on my face. 7.30 in the morning. And I am going to a yoga class in Shoreditch um, with my friend Ben. <laughs> I don't know if it's his first yoga class, but I feel like I don't think he does it regularly. <laughs> but he said he'd go with me, which is fun. Um, I got my new keep cup in the mail yesterday. So yeah, by the way, yesterday, I did have a breakfast meeting. I'm gonna insert that clip now. I am at a breakfast meeting, but it's not really a meeting, it's more of just like hanging out um, with Marie from Galanay, one of my favorite skincare brands. Anyway, I'm eating Eggs Benedict. Marie is eating Eggy Bread. Eggy Bread. Blackberry? With blackberries, lovely. And she said she's got a present for me. Hi, Marie. Oh my gosh. Poor Estee. I love these pictures, nerd. So basically, Marie says this is her favorite microbiome book. Best book about bacteria. Okay, I'm gonna open this later and show you guys. Yum. And um, then I literally just went and worked in a cafe all day long and Claudia joined me. Um, I got home around eight and there was really nothing to say. Uh, it's windy, it's windy. So yeah, gonna go to yoga. Hopefully I'm not late. I got absolutely poured on. But it was very worth it. Um, yoga was so fun. It was the first time I'd been to that studio. It's more yoga in Shoreditch. Um, I really liked the teacher that we had too. I can't remember his name. I want to say Mike. If it's not Mike, I'll correct myself, but I'm pretty sure it was Mike. It was really good. Um, I think Ben enjoyed it as well. He's quite tall and the roof is very low, so the teacher was like, extend your arms, and Ben was like, <laughs> it was really funny. Uh, we went for breakfast afterwards at the Ace Hotel, which was really nice. I didn't vlog there because, you know guys, sometimes it's just not uh, the vibes to be pulling out the camera. But we had a really nice breakfast. I'll insert a picture of what I had here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It was called Moroccan eggs. And then basically, made my way home, stumbled upon a bookstore. Now, I have enough books. I don't need to be buying any more books, but I bought a few books because it's just that weather, that cozy weather. You wanna get your sweater on, sweater weather. Read your book, cuddle up with your weighted blanket with a cup of tea. So I'm gonna show you the books I bought. I also went to M&S, a treat, and got some snackage. Some foodage, because I've got no food in my fridge. Last night I came home from wherever I was working and I was so hungry and I had no food in my fridge. So these are the things that keep keep you going. Food, you know, gotta, gotta become responsible and be an adult and get food for myself. So did that. I'm just gonna freshen up a little bit because I'm hot, sweaty, and uh, I will show you my books as well. Also, I came home to this outside my door. Lots of furniture. I ordered some stuff from H&M Home, which I will be sure to show you. The first thing that I just finished unpacking from H&M Home is this stool, which I put my plant on. And I think it looks super cute. When you walk in, it kind of looks like this. I really love it. I think it's super, super cute. And I think my plant is gonna like it a little bit more too. I just unpacked a huge box that I received as gifts from this brand, Azurina. And I heard about this brand through Claudia because she loves their bags. And I'm always like, oh my God, I love that bag. And she's like, I got it from Azurina. So anyway, she hooked me up and Azurina sent me some stuff and they went a little bit above and beyond i won't lie but i want to show you what they gave me um so the one thing that i was like i definitely want this it was just a simple black tote bag but i i have many many totes um i have one leather tote but it's more kind of horizontal i wanted more vertical space so this is my brand new tote they personalize things, so you can get your initials on there, you can get little symbols, I think. Um, and then it comes with this little tag, too, that has my initials on. I mean, anything personalized, I'm all over it. And I really wanted a bag like this 
for days when I'm working and I just want to stick my laptop in. Check this out. This is the cutest little bag ever. It goes inside and I thought this would be perfect for either a clutch but mostly I just thought it would be great to put all my little cables, chargers, SD readers, my hard drive. Because sometimes when I'm on the go, it's just I have stuff floating in my bag and I can never find it. So I am honestly so excited to have this in my life. And I have to show you these little mini bags. So they sent me a dark green one and this like beige yellowy camel one. They come with a little strap inside. But I honestly, I am not over the cuteness. They're like just so adorbs. That's the only word for them. And then they also have these moon shaped cases that they generously sent over as well. I'm kind of like in awe. And there's also this really cute canvas bag. It's like a really adorable size. I don't really have a bag that's this size. At the bookstore, I saw this book, Cat Poems, and you're probably wondering why I have two of them and also wondering why I have them at all. I'm going to a movie tonight with Rebecca and Rebecca, who you'll remember from uh, the vlog a couple, of, a couple of days ago. They both really like cats, and by the way, do not look at my nails. They've all broken, and I'm going to get them refixed, re refixed, redone uh, tomorrow. Anyway, I saw this book and I was like, you know what, this is so cute and I'd love to give them a little gift tonight. Just like a little token of my appreciation for being friends. I always try to get my friends little things if I see them and I just thought this was super cute. So I don't have any wrapping paper but I'm just going to put a little bow on them. And these are the books I bought to read. Uh, I, don't, I don't really post too much about what I read but I do read a lot. I try to post it on Instagram sometimes but anyway. Uh, so I bought this book, My Sister, The Serial Killer. I know my friend Allison read this book and really liked it. Um, I'm excited to read it. I've heard a lot about it. I'm not going to go into like what these books are really about, but you can screenshot that and read it if you really want to. So I got that one. I also got this book, Calypso by David Sedaris. Uh, again, just heard amazing things about this book. Thing I'm going to love. Okay, Alain de Botton. Alain? Alain? Alain de... Baton. I can never say his name, but um, he's a very clever man, and I'm a huge fan of the School of Life. So this is called An Emotional Education, and I was just kind of flipping through it. Um, I go to the School of Life talks sometimes, uh, little seminars that they do and stuff, and I really thought that the topics were quite interesting, and when I was flipping through it, it just seemed interesting to me. Robustness versus vulnerability. The importance of a breakdown. That's a little too real. <laughs> but because I'm such a fan of his, I thought I would pick this up. And then I got Expectation. I've actually not heard too much about this book. I haven't, I didn't really know anything about it, but I saw it. It kind of piqued my interest. The woman who worked at the bookstore really, really liked it. And then on the back, it also had amazing praises, so Pandora Sykes really liked it. I'm such a huge fan of Pandora's. Lots of people seemed very keen on it. Yeah, what happened to the women we were supposed to become? Well, that's what I'm wondering as well. I also realized that I didn't show you the book that Marie gave me at breakfast yesterday. Um, so she said this is her favorite book about bacteria. Um, it's called I Contain Multitudes, and I was just flipping through it casually last night before bed, and it looks really interesting. She is obsessed with, oh my, I can has? <laughs> She's obsessed with um, all things, uh, you know, organism, so I can see why she would like this, and I'm interested to read it just so I can know more about probiotics and prebiotics. If you haven't listened to the podcast I did with Marie and you're interested in that kind of stuff, I would highly recommend it. Also, if you're interested in gut health, um, then I did a podcast with The Gut Stuff. There are two um, really cool girl sisters who talk all about gut health. So just a little information. So like I said, tonight I'm going to the movies. I'm going to see The Joker. <gasps> Basically, all the cinemas are totally packed, super booked up. I, I should have booked tickets earlier in the week, but 
You know how you never really know how you're gonna feel on a Friday night? Sometimes I wanna go out, sometimes I wanna stay in and read. <laughs> but I actually just really wanna see the Joker. And I was at a store yesterday and the girl who was helping me out um, said that she had went to go see it. And she was like, it takes you to places you never thought you could go. And I was like, oh my God. And then I woke up at five o'clock this morning cause I couldn't sleep. And I started watching interviews with Joaquin Phoenix and I'm just like so ready <laughs> to go see this movie. By the way, are you guys watching this show, Big Mouth? It is the funniest show I think I've ever watched maybe ever like it is so so funny please please watch the show i've got company the one the only sylvester <laughs> well. he's putting together my coffee table i just texted him i'm like can you come over you guys are like why do you need sylvester to come hang your photos why do you need him to come put your coffee table together because i can't okay because it would take me at least three hours of time that i don't have and honestly i don't even know if i'd be able to do it in three hours and you might think i'm exaggerating but i just do not have the the mind to put things together and i did once put together a clothing rail and it fell apart that evening so I need professional assistance. Also, when Sylvester came in, he's like, oh, what's that on your forehead? And I was like, it's a zit, okay? It's a big, giant zit. Thanks for pointing it out. Here it is, my little table. And I basically bought this to put my record player on because I have no other place to really put it. So I'm gonna keep the record player here and then probably keep my records down here, which will be great. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to show you what it's like, but I think it's actually in the perfect spot. This is the next thing to be hung. This is a rug slash wall hanging, and I'm pretty sure the brand is Mina, Mina Stores. I bought this actually a pretty long time ago, but um, I love it, and I actually think it looks really good up on the wall. It's just kind of something different, gives a bit of texture. I will say, I have no idea why, but I washed my towels and they're pink. Are they pink? Are they pink or am I losing it? They're a little pink. You had anything pinkish with it? I didn't have like a red sock in there, but these towels were white and I washed them and now they're pink. That's a... So maybe if I bleach them? But they don't actually look that pink in the camera, but in real life they're like a little pink anyway. So now we are going to hang up this piece of art that was actually sent to me by Rupi Kaur herself. Um, she sent me this as a present. It's one of her famous poems and we're just gonna put it here in the bathroom. I posted this on Instagram when it arrived but this is the letter that she wrote me. It's an absolute honor to give this handmade piece of art. I always love connecting with you. I'm such a fangirl for her. And this is what it says about the piece of art. Um, so you can pause the screen and read that if you'd like. Thank you so much, Rupi. I'm so excited to finally hang this up. So I walk into the bathroom and I'm like, what is going on here? Uh, turns out Rebecca has been, well, she had her pants off, but her, pant, her jeans are like soaking wet because it's pissing it down. And so she was trying to dry them in the in the thing. So I was just like, that's just like a pretty average thing to walk into. <laughs> Can you just stick the popcorn in my face? Yes. 